What's up guys? It's Fliction Builder. I'm out here in the garage and uh, I just going over some engraving I'm doing. Uh, a lot of this stuff done by hand is a lost art and a lot of the old guys that did this uh, have passed on and there's not a lot of people out there doing this by hand. There's a couple of uh, people on the internet I see doing it, but not a whole lot. Most of this today, the uh, engraving is done on lasers with pre-programmed designs. And they get a design, they put it in a laser printer or burner or whatever. I don't know much about that. And they, you know, do like 10 or 12 of these. And just to show you, when you do this by hand, uh, it's very time consuming because you're, you're drawing it, you're cutting it out. And uh, then after you cut it out, you have a couple options. You could use like a flat graver, some guys use, and they remove the background that way to kind of make the uh, design pop out or look three-dimensional, if you will. Sometimes you could leave it. Uh, this is just a, I've been working on this probably about two and a half hours now. This is just a little Glock 26 barrel that I made uh, to go inside of this frame. And then you can see with the two-tone uh, color, you know, it kind of pops out. Uh, when you look through the windows, you'll be able to see the engraved barrel. And that was kind of like the, uh, the design I was going for, try to, you know, make it look all like one piece. So uh, this is stainless steel and you can see on this side uh, this is just the engraving without the background removed which sometimes it's up to the artist or if you like that you you know that'll polish up fine it doesn't look bad but if you use the uh, you know typically I just use a Dremel or a Ryobi with a uh, carbide tip around burr and I go outline all the designs to try to, you know, you want to make it not uniform, uniform, but just so it just looks like background. There's really no pattern to it. And then you could see, you know, then it looks kind of three dimensional uh, when you look at it. The design will shine, and then the hammered background. Or the little burrs kind of uh, are a little more subdued and so it looks kind of three-dimensional so like I said it's very time-consuming a lot of people get this and you know you try to get a decent price you know a couple hundred dollars whatever you're trying to make for your work because it takes time I can't just program this and you know make ten of these this is all uh, hand engraved and it takes time but you can see when it's done, you have a one-off type design that nobody else has. And then someone could have this for years. They could pass this down to their grandkids or their daughters, you know, brothers, fathers, whatever, and make an heirloom out of this as opposed to buying something that's just, you know, laser etched and everybody, you know, has it. So that's why I do this hand done with the graver. And I'm just gonna stipple. I have a few more areas here to do the background. I just wanna show you. I use a light, uh, this saves the chattering on the burr. You use this burr light, this lasts a while. So when it hits the metal, it saves some of the life on your tip. So you're not burning it out because stainless steel is very hard. So you go through quite a few of these over a lifetime of engraving. So this one is almost on its way out. But uh, I'll just show you. I'm working on just getting the, uh, the background finished. You just got to go slow.
you just, you basically you're just going like a coloring book. You just go on the outline, the background. You're just removing that material just enough so that your cut or your scroll will look three-dimensional. Break it up so it doesn't look too, uh, just kind of blends in. But you definitely have to have a steady hand so you don't just mess up your, uh, your work. And then when you do this, it almost, after this, I could polish this on a wheel. And you see, it almost looks like, like a diamond or a kind of jeweled. It gives it kind of a jeweled appearance. It also sometimes, uh, if an engraver, if you make a mistake sometimes, Removing the background will allow you also to kind of blend in a little mistake here and there. Uh, if, you, if you get off your design, sometimes uh, you could get away with uh, removing it with the uh, some of the stippling. show you guys that thanks for uh, watching it like I said it's it's a lot of people aren't wanting to learn this and it, it just takes patience it's not too hard uh, but it does take a lot of patience and time but I just want to show you that and uh, I hope you enjoyed it hope you might have learned a little something and uh, you know, if it's something you want to get into, let me know. I kind of could do a video of kind of the tools and that I've accumulated to do this uh, work. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be safe. I'll see you next time.